All right. So everybody is coming out to see the sheep. Duke is <laughs> happy because it's not so hot. Come on. There's Bobby Joe. All the babies are getting some experience with sheep. That's good for them. Now, of course, most of these pups are going to get time with chickens in their homes, but still good for them to have experience around all livestock animals. Phoebe and Monica are spending more time with the sheep than the others. Hi sheep. There's the sheep. Hi babies. Hi Bobby Joe. Oh, Duke. <laughs> this is a funny boy. These puppies are getting so big. Starting to look like... Starting to look like little adults. Starting to use their noses quite a bit. I trust them more around the sheep at this point because these babies are agile enough that if they needed to move out of the way of a sheep, then they could. My little one. <laughs> Got some pretty tall Johnson grass down here. It's a nice adventure for them too. All right, that's Daisy. This is Leo. That's Gertie. This is Apollo. Who is this? This is little lady. Who is this? This is Monica. Hi, Monica. Hi, Miss Phoebe. Hi, little Phoebe. Yeah. That's sheep fur. <laughs> Leave that alone. Hi, Bobby. Hi, babies. Hello, everyone. All right, I got an idea. Let's go up and around. So we're actually down in our pond. Now it's not much of a pond obviously because it doesn't hold water. Um, but that's where the sheep are grazing at the moment. That looks like little <laughs> Apollo. Hey Apollo. Hey man. Yeah, that's Apollo. You're always the fluffy one. The super fluff. I can pick you out from a mile away. Yep. Mr. Apollo. He's a Duke replica. Looks like Bobby Joe is taking the other babies over to the sheep. Get a, you can barely tell that grass is so high. The babies are over there with the sheep. You can see some little bouncing heads. The little bouncing heads are puppies. Bobby Jo definitely reprimands him, but she's not staying quite as distant now. She's 
definitely spending more time with them. I don't think they attempt to nurse any longer. I haven't seen it happen in quite some time. All right, everyone. Y'all ready? Let's go over here. There's Duke. Okay, well, we just had a very dramatic situation happen. We were trying to get around to the sheep, and all of a sudden we got attacked by bees. The puppies were squealing and yelping, and I was running all over the place trying to get the puppies to run in the right direction. It was mayhem for a moment there. But the puppies are okay. I got stung. I believe the puppies got stung as well, but they seem to be doing okay. Yeah, did you get stung? Yeah, I know. Those bees sucked. So, looks like we might have some aggressive bees that we have to do something about. And I've got an idea of where their nest is, so that's going to be taken care of very soon. But, nonetheless, babies are back playing around, enjoying the cool time of the day. Hey kids. So maybe we'll try again tomorrow hanging out with the sheep again. Nonetheless, these are our little chicks. Anyhow, the pups have been around them. They've done very well. Of course, I've had to kind of supervise, but after one day of supervision with these little guys running around just free range, everybody settled in. Everybody's happy. The puppies understand that chicks are not toys. Of course, it's a good idea anytime you bring in new chicks, if they haven't been around chicks in a while, remind them that they're not toys. You might have to supervise a little bit. Because puppies like to play, and that's just how that goes. This lady bird is pregnant. Yeah, you're going to have some babies real soon. Yeah, she's pregnant. We weren't sure if she was going to be pregnant. She had a, an extraordinarily short heat. And I suppose it's probably because it's summertime. But I wasn't sure if that meant that she was actually going to end up carrying babies. But she is pregnant. Look at that belly. Also, just for the fun of it, I'm going to point out this little silky rooster it's probably hard to tell boy he is a very pretty calico color now when the sun hits him when it's bright his tail is a shimmery green like an iridescent black green and he has a little bit of that iridescent black green in his wing feathers too and he's a silky his father, and in fact, that's his sister with him too. That's his other sister. They don't have as interesting of coloration, but his father is a white silky, and his mother is a partridge silky. It's partridge silky. Yeah, so his father is a white silky, mother is a partridge silky. And boy, is he just unique. Very unique looking. He doesn't even have all of his adult feathers just yet. They're still coming in, but day by day, he's getting prettier and prettier. I think you just might stick around. Only so many roosters get, that get to hang around here. And it looks like you might be one of them. So yeah. That's Miss Maple's pool. And poor, poor Miss Maple. She's not here right now. She's at the vet. Because looks like she has a hernia. Unfortunately, when she got spayed a couple months ago, I guess they didn't suture her up just right. And so 
Looks like those sutures kind of tore open and now she has a hernia due to that. So they're gonna stitch her back up, which is a bit frustrating for sure. I don't know why they didn't stitch her up right the first time. So yeah, she'll be out of commission for the next few days, sadly. All right. So everything is happy on the farm again. 